All right, welcome to another week, Northwoods News. Coy from Bushwood Tavern here, joined by... Carl with a K from Bushwood Tavern. And also our guest uh, today is my drunken art teacher from 30 years ago, Jody. Go Turner! All right, thanks for being here. Talk about leave no child behind. She just has never given up on me, Carl. Oh, I don't know. Followed me up here. Do you have a hall pass? Uh, yes. You're getting kind uh, of grumpy there with that beard. Oh. I'm inspiring to be like you, buddy. <laughs> Did you rub some chicken shit on it to make it grow better? <laughs> Something like that. Huh. All right. We're, okay, we're we decked gotta... out in our Packers stuff. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that. No. They're tied at, or wait, we're down four by seven. But anyways, here we go. What do we got to talk about today? All right. Well, the, we've got looks, a big list here. Looks like the beginning of it is, uh, it's, uh, well, first off, we got deer hunting coming up. That's right. So we were supposed to wear orange, but of course I forgot my stuff. Uh, and we, whatever. Anyway. You, you did send me a text to remind me to yes. bring mine. I reminded Carl to bring his, and <laughs> then I didn't know, bring mine, so here we are. If you mix red and yellow, you can get orange. Ooh. A little go. art teacher back. You know what I could have accomplished had I known that 30 years ago? <laughs> you probably would have passed art. Okay, enough of this bullshit. we got to get moving here. Or the people are going to watch this if we're sitting here talking so much. Okay, we got, on Friday, we got the Rotary Winter Wonderland at Wildwood Zoo. Yes, and That's that is uh, across the state. My a little shout out to my cousin Shannon, who was an integral part of the Marshfield one, which is oh, one really? of the nicer ones. So look those up, no matter where you live. They're cool as hell to go see the the lights and donate, of course, yep. to uh, help the cause. And then we got a Christmas walk in uh, on Friday in Boulder, which has been a traditional thing for many many years. It's great. I get all my uh, Christmas cookie Stop. baking done ah, right there. Right there. All right. And that's yeah, uh, a good excuse to be downtown to go visit the beer bar. What beer bar? <laughs> the Boulder Beer Bar is reopened and better than ever. Okay. Go see them. And then we got on the 24th also, what are a lot of stuff going on Friday? The Gobbler Wobbler Manny Waters Run. Oh, huh. we're the three of us are certainly going to be there participating <laughs> yeah. in, a, in a fun run. And then uh, in Saner, they also have a Christmas walk. So. <laughs> Or a oh, Christmas right. thing. Yeah. Christmas and Saner. That sounds like uh, Bloody's at Saner Pub to me. Yes. Oh. All oh. Of, well, those events are all Friday the 24th. So, and then we move to the 25th, Saturday, and we have a Christmas celebration and parade in St. Germain. Well, we should get a float. We could make one. You're artistic. <laughs> you start thinking about that. A float. <laughs> yeah, you could advertise Bushwood. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then the next on the Saturday, the twenty fifth, also is a Christmas Wonderland, uh, Rondell Ranch. Where is that? That is, I'm told, in Harshaw, so south, south, okay, south of town. Uh, horses, a horse drawn carriage, uh, and a one horse open sleigh. <laughs> okay. Or, 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 that one, or okay. maybe more, more than one. And then we got to go to Lakeland Sports. There's a lots of events going on. I guess the best thing is just to check out the, the internet and see what's going on there. Um, but and I want to throw out so the eight man football. I don't know if you guys even knew this. Florence won the state championship over Thorpe in eight man football. First first state championship really in their history. So, I'll drink to that. Hell yes. <laughs> e East, uh, I forgot my drink, damn it. <laughs> we, we, we take it for granted because back when I was in high school, we just mopped everybody. You won all the time. State champs. It, was, uh, it wasn't even funny. Mm -mm. All okay. right. Well, let's go. Uh, let's take a break. We got to go to Jason so he can give his spiel on the weather deck, which uh, so far, uh, if he's regurgitating what other people are saying, he's just going to be as wrong as they are. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I know. But it is what it is. Hey everyone, back on the weather deck after a slight hiatus, uh, brought to you by Dock Shop. Get in there, if you're looking at getting a dock next summer, you should probably get in there and get on the books. They're already filling up their May and June. Um, take some time, go over it. It's a big investment, you know, and they can go through the catalog with you, show you all the ins and outs of getting a new dock. It's been dreary here in the Northwoods with some patches of sun here early, just not very much blue sky this fall. Um, 
warm weather too, unfortunately, going into the opener of deer season. Gonna be looking at 40s. It's gonna cool down a little bit, which will be better than nothing. Coming off this warm spell, that 40 degrees could maybe get a few deer moving. Um, and the date falls a little early this year on the calendar, so you might be able to catch one of those bucks still chasing. Big fish time for all species. Um, here's Rob Manti, a friend of mine with the nice musky, uh, large live bait. Maybe troll some big crankbaits around, and then want to remind everybody that we're going to be broadcasting live from Kurt's ice fishing show in Minocqua. I believe it's the weekend of December 2nd. Uh, so make sure you go down there. And I wanted to give a, a congratulations to my nephew, Cade, who shot a really nice Northwoods whitetail with the bow a few weeks ago. And for more specifics on any events and all, if you go to the Bushwood Facebook page, we try to keep the links to local fishing reports current and maybe some hunting stuff. And then just other stuff like snowmobile um, events or fundraisers, whatever. And Thanks for watching. Enjoy the nice weather. I mean, it's going to be okay to sit. I mean, it'll sit for a long time, but it really does hamper the deer activity, I found. So best of luck to everybody. Be safe. And I'm taking the Packers over the Chargers and Lions over the Packers on Thanksgiving Day. We will be open at Bushwood. Don't forget that for the Thanksgiving Day game. Should be great. See you there. Here we are again. All right, we're back. Uh, Jody had to step out, have a smoke in the cheaper teacher's lounge. Uh, but we're going to go straight to uh, straight back to deer season. Uh, what do you think? It looks like the temps are going to be mild. This is going to be one of the mildest uh, openers for a long, that it's been for a long, long, long time. Uh, and early. You're talking in early. It's uh, you're talking 40s and 50s on the opening week. So, uh, oh well. We don't have quite the numbers up here of deer or hunters like we have in the past, but we're going to make up for it with our spirit and energy. And, and, we'll, and I won't have to freeze my ass for a change. That's... I might not even bring my sleeping bag out. <laughs> <laughs> I might leave that at home. All right. And uh, so going into the going into the weekend, well, first off, we're going to, I want to say we're going to be open here, Bushwood, at uh, for the Packer game. We'll play the Lions on Thanksgiving, so we will be open on Thanksgiving. What do you think is going to happen in that game, Packers, Lions? <sighs> I'm betting, I hate to say this, but I'm thinking the Lions are going to, they're looking pretty dead strong. God, just... God bless him, but Brian, uh, I watched the last Lions game with him, and even into the third quarter, he's like, I think we got a chance. I'm like, are we, are we watching the same game? This is a <laughs> varsity versus the JV. They're just going to push us around. But we got uh, we're sitting at the number seven draft pick, which isn't bad right now. Yeah. So uh, and for the Lions fans, they've waited a long time. We mentioned that before, not <laughs> since the '60s. So uh, may, maybe even earlier. So all right. So you got your uh, you got your buck tied up. So I'm yep. pretty successful. I'm pretty sure you're going to be successful. Uh, what do we got? Badgers, Gophers. Badgers continue to disappoint us. I know. Miss the rivalry game as this thing goes forward with the new teams: USC, UCLA, Oregon, all that. Uh, we're, we're going to continue to get spanked, but we always get to play Iowa, who just set a record uh, for the lowest predicted over and under at uh, less than 30 points, and the total for the over under uh, was 22. So they nailed that one. Uh, we always get to play Iowa. We always get to play Minnesota. Can we take Minnesota this year? I think we're due. Uh, they they got to get their stuff together, but I don't know. Their defense has been pretty much a sieve. Lately, so. I'm creating our own division. So Minnesota beat Iowa. Iowa beat us. So if we beat Minnesota, it's a straight it's draw. A tie. If, it's Minnes a tie. if Minnesota beats us, they, they win uh, the the division that I made up, which is just the three of us. Huh. And they win that this year. Okay. All right. So we talked about the hours. Yep. Facebook Chamber of Commerce. Check it out for details. Anything that we've yammered about uh, that you give a shit about. Did I tell you I'm taking off next uh, the deer during deer week, Tuesday and Wednesday? You're not going to have me. You're going to lose me. That's a perfect segue into when we're open. <laughs> I thought I'd add that. I saw what was coming. You up. might have to get your own drink, but we will be open every day at three o'clock, eleven thirty <laughs> on Thanksgiving. We'll keep it going, and we'll see you around the block. Good luck this weekend. Be safe, please, all you hunters and all the wives. Be nice. <laughs>